In this video, I'm gonna help you fix it if you're getting a strict NAT type on your Nintendo Switch while using the mobile hotspot. It usually means your carrier's network is blocking the certain ports or using shared IP system. This can cause online multiplayer issues. So here's how you can fix it for a better NAT type. For the first solution, we can change the hotspot band. This solution will not work for the iPhone, but for Android devices, it should definitely work. And I'll use my Samsung phone as an example for this video. So from here, we're going to go to our system settings or our settings app. And then we're going to go to connections. For other phone, you might have the network or Wi-Fi option. So you can go there as well. And after here, we're going to go to mobile hotspot and tethering. After this, we're going to tap on mobile hotspot and we're going to toggle this on. If it's toggled off, you need to make sure to toggle this on. And from here, there will be this option of your network name, your password, and right below it, there is the band option. So you have to tap on the band option from here and tap on it again and set this to 2.4 gigahertz. If you have set this to 5.6 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz, then the Nintendo Switch might not find it because it doesn't support that. So you need to make sure to set this to 2.4 gigahertz and hit save. After you have set this to 2.4 gigahertz, I think the problem should be fixed because this helps switch become more compatible with the hotspot since it doesn't support a higher hotspot frequency. Now, if the issue is still persisting, we can try out our next solutions. So for your second solution, you can edit your hotspot security. To do this, you need to go to your system settings, scroll down to internet, then go to internet settings. Now from this list, find your connected hotspot network. For me, it will be my Samsung S Galaxy S22 Ultra. It could be your iPhone or something similar. So simply select this and try to connect to it. So after you're connected to the network, open this up again and we're going to go to change settings. So in the change settings menu, we're going to go down to security option, open this up. Here you have to select WPA2PSK.AES. You need to make sure to select this over here and see if that's work out for you or not. If it doesn't work, then you can select WPAPSK.AES and then you may need to enter your password once again. So simply enter your password and hit save from here. After saving it, see if that fixes the problem or not. If that doesn't work out, even after saving it, you can just come back here and change the security to something else. You can use WEP shared, WEP open, or again, WPA2 PSK, or enter your password again, then hit save. Now see if this fixes the problem or not. If the issue is still persisting, we can try our last solution, which will be using a manual DNS. So while you're still here, you can go to your change settings menu again, scroll down, and on your hotspot, you will find the DNS setting option. Select the DNS setting and set this to manual. After this, you will find something like this. This is your DNS menu for the primary DNS and the secondary DNS. For the primary DNS, we are going to set this to 8.8.8.8. After that, we're going to hit OK. And for the secondary DNS, we're going to enter 8.8.4.4. After entering the DNS settings, we're going to hit OK and we're going to hit save. After the changes have been saved, See if this fixes the problem or not. Changing the DNS can really fix the problem and hopefully after this, I think your issue will be gone and you'll be able to connect with your Wi-Fi with the proper net NAT type as long as your smartphone's hotspot allows you to have it. So that's basically it. That's how you fix the NAT type error on your Nintendo Switch with some easy fixes. If you found this tutorial helpful, then don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel for future fixes. Thanks a lot for watching.